Thor Labs Vitran LDC cleavers are capable of high precision cleaving of glass fibers with diameters ranging from 80 micron to 1250 micron cladding. This video will detail unboxing the cleaver when it arrives and the standard accessories that ship with the unit. It will also explain how to power up and power down the cleaver. The cleaver and its accessories arrive in a single packing box. Packaging ensures everything is held in place securely during shipping. Should you need to pack and ship the unit again, for instance to return the cleaver for service and calibration, retain the packaging material and note the placement of the items so that they can be repackaged securely in the same way. The box contains a manual and calibration information, an accessories bag, a power supply, a handset controller, and the cleaver in a pink anti-static bag. The accessories bag contains hex keys for securing fibre inserts in place and adjusting the height of the cleave blade. A nylon brush is also supplied for cleaning. Remove the handset controller from its packaging. Packaged with the handset will be the Y cable that handles both power and communications between the handset and the cleaver. If this connector is not packaged with the handset, it will be in the accessories bag. On the rear of the handset is a stand that can be folded out if required. To set up your cleaver, remove the power supply from its box and fit an AC power lead appropriate for the country of use. Connect the single end of the Y cable to the exposed port on the handset controller. Remove the cleaver from its pink bag. A shipping bar is fitted to the unit. It is important that this is removed before the unit is powered on. First undo the clamping screws on each fibre holding block. Then press down on the cam lever and open the lid. Do this for both fibre holding blocks. Then, with a 35 thou hex key, undo the insert set screws holding the shipping bar in place on both fibre holding blocks. The shipping bar will then become loose and can be lifted out of the unit. Before the unit is used to cleave, fibre inserts will need to be fitted. To learn how to fit inserts into the cleaver, Please see the separate video that describes this process in more detail. The back of the cleaver has connections for main unit power, communication of data with the handset controller and providing the handset with power. There is also an ethernet connection if required. Connect the unit power. Make sure that the connector flat is facing upwards. Now connect the USB B connector on the double end of the Y cable to the data port on the back of the cleaver. Connect the remaining free end of the Y cable to the 5 volt power out port. Turn on the main power switch on the back of the cleaver. The cleave blade will home as will the left fibre holding block. If the unit is fitted with a rotary stage for performing angled cleaves this will home as well. Power will also be delivered to the handset controller. You will see the Thorlab screen appear. After a short while, the controller software will load and automatically recognise the type of device that is connected. When communication between the cleaver and the handset controller has been established, the cleaver will send the last set of cleave parameters that were used to the handset where they will be displayed. If inserts are installed, the unit can now be used to cleave fibre. When you have finished using the cleaver, turn off the power switch on the back of the unit. Both the cleaver and handset controller will power down.